Hello guys, in this video, we'll tell you how to fix fastboot not working on Windows 10 or 11. Before we start the video guys, if you have any computer or software related problems, please feel free to contact us by visiting our website and using the submit a problem button. And comment down below on our videos about your problem and don't worry, we'll make a video for you to resolve it. Number 1. Update your fastboot drivers. For this, press the Windows key plus R to open the run box. Type devmgmt.msc and click OK to open the device manager. In the device manager window, expand the human interfaces devices section. It will list all the dedicated drivers installed on your computer. Do the following for all of the drivers. Right click on the display driver and choose uninstall. Make sure to uncheck the delete the driver software for this device option if it shows up. After that, go to the top menu in the device manager and under the actions tab, select scan for hardware changes. The driver should appear back in the list. If it does not, just don't worry. Just simply restart your PC and it will appear back. After that, again right click on display driver and choose update driver. Select search automatically for drivers. Window will scan for available driver updates and will download them. After that, restart your PC to apply the changes. If it didn't work, again right click on the display driver and choose update driver. But this time, select browse my computer for driver software. Then, select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select the driver you want to install. Generally, it is a pre-selected top option in the list. And after that, just simply click next. Restart your PC to apply the changes. And number 2. Deactivate driver signature. For this, in the advanced option mode, here when your computer will restart, go to the troubleshoot option and select advanced settings section. Choose startup options from there. Then, select restart and choose to disable driver signature enforcement. Your computer will restart once again after which you can attempt to install your fastboot drivers. Number 3. Try updating drivers from Windows settings. For this, navigate to the settings menu, select Windows update from there. Go to advanced settings and select optional updates option. After that, select a driver update if one is available. After that, select download and install from the drop down menu. And number 4. Check for Windows Update. For this, press Windows plus I key to open the Windows settings. Click on the Update and Security option and in the Update and Security option, click on Windows Update in the left hand menu. After that, click on Check for Updates option and let Windows search and install any available updates. After the updates are installed, just simply restart your computer and check if the brightness control function keys are functioning correctly or not. Number 5. Try updating your display drivers. For this, press the Windows key plus R to open a run box. Type devmgmt.msc and click OK to again open device manager. In the device manager window, expand the display adapter section. It will list all the graphic drivers installed on your computer. Do the following for all of the drivers. Right click on display driver and choose uninstall driver. Make sure to uncheck the delete the driver software option for this device if it shows up. After that, go to the top menu in the device manager and under the actions tab, select scan for hardware changes. The driver should appear back in the list. If it does not, just don't worry. Just simply restart your PC and it'll appear back. After that, right click on display driver again and choose update driver. Select search automatically for drivers. Window will scan for available driver updates and will download them. After that, just simply restart the PC to apply the changes. If it didn't work, again right click on display driver and choose update driver. But this time, select browse my computer for driver software. Then, select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Then, select the driver you want to install. Generally, it is a pre-selected top option in the list and just simply click next, restart your PC to apply the changes. If even that doesn't work, you can try going to a laptop or graphic card manufacturer's official website and downloading the latest driver for a specific model from there. And then simply install the drivers and restart your PC to apply the changes. 
So this was it for the video guys. We hope this video helped you solve your problem. If it did, then make sure that you give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. And if it did not, then don't worry. Just comment down below the issue and we'll try to figure out what is wrong with your specific case. Thank you for watching.